guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, I am going to focus mainly on those before the gray and after ladies. I just want you guys to just, you know, really embrace the fact that these ladies have made a really huge step. And um, I really don't like to just make it seem like it's, you know, oh my gosh. But I mean, mentally, you really have to be, um, you know, just ready to accept it. Because unfortunately, yes, there comes comments or maybe people may not like it. You start to doubt your decisions and so forth. So I really commend you guys for stepping up and just coming out and just, I like to say, exposing the gray. So. Um, but yeah, today is about these lovely women. So I want to go ahead and get into a new bottle of wine, a wine that I have not tried yet, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. And it's one of my favorite varietals. So let's get into her. Okay guys, so this is a thousand stories. This is a Zinfandel and it is a bourbon bottle, bourbon barreled Zinfandel. So right there, 2017. Now the winemaker for a thousand stories is Bob Blue. And on the back of the, of the uh, bottle here, he talks about how he really wanted to, um, they were looking for barrels to um, put their wine in, it was really unheard of to age wine in bourbon barrels. So not sure exactly how long ago that was, but today it's pretty commonplace. And, you know, I'm really glad they decided to do that because the flavor of a nice bourbon mixed with the age of a wine, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful um, creation here. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys saw, I did, um, a video and I introduced um, Buckshack, which is a bourbon barrel wine. It's aged in bur uh, bourbon barrels and it is delicious. Now that particular wine was a Cabernet. This one is a Zinfandel. So I'm so excited to try this particular wine. Also, this one was featured on Vinvino and actually the price point is about the same. I picked this up at my local grocer for $17.99 and on Venvino, I think it's also $17.99. So we've got our glass, our Riedel glass, and let's go. Yummy. Oh, wow. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Really dark, rich. Oh, wow. Cherries. Vanilla. It's just, it's really, really, it smells amazing. All right. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> I just found a favorite. Oh my goodness. It has a really, really beautiful finish. Yeah, you can taste just a hint of that bourbon at the end. Oh, this is beautiful. It's awesome. A Thousand Stories. This is a bourbon barrel aged Zinfandel, 2017. And for some of you wondering, because <laughs> I know you are, Yes, she is. She is in preseason training for this uh, uh, competition next May 2021. However, I get to have mm, so many alcoholic drinks per week, which is just amazing. I'm so excited that I don't have to just totally, you know, knock that out. Of course, I have to stay away from like, you know, the sweetened mix, uh, mixers and stuff like that. But just to have this uh, 
uh, wine is great for me. I'm good. <laughs> awesome. So anyhow, guys, let's go ahead, get into this video so you guys can see these amazing women on Before the Gray and After. Okay guys, first up is Aquafina. Now, Aquafina and I have corresponded in the past regarding her gray hair, and she has an allergic reaction to dye, so she cannot color her hair. However, she can use a rinse. So, Aquafina decided, you know what? I'm gonna stop dyeing, and I'm just gonna accept this gray. Now, these are some of the pictures that Aquafina sent me uh, not too long ago just so you guys can see how beautiful she does gray. Just stunning pictures. Now, since I have received these, I'd have received a more recent message from Aquafina saying, you know what, Ava, I just can't do it. I'm gonna put a rinse in, I just can't accept it. I'm having a hard time. Look, I totally understand, it happens. However, Aquafina, if you're watching, I hope that you know how beautiful you are with that accent of gray in your hair. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay guys, now it's Rosalind's turn. Now Rosalind is my home girl, yes, from Georgia. And she sent me these absolutely beautiful photos of herself. Um, she said that back in October 2013, she decided that she was gonna go ahead and go gray after the birth of her grandson. And since then, she has been loving her journey. So she sent me an, just an array of beautiful photos. Um, and of course, y'all know I had to throw in the one with the golf outing. <laughs> But anyhow, thank you so much, Rosalind. The pictures are absolutely stunning. Um, she uh, did mention that she went from relaxed to natural in 2017. Thanks so much, Rosalind. Next up, Brenda. Now, Brenda, as you can see, has these amazing long locks. Well, in Brenda's message, she says, I had my locks for 17 years, woke up one morning, showered, washed my hair, and then got the scissors. And cut them all off. Now she is enjoying her short gray hair. And I mean, Brenda, that was a bold move, but my goodness, it is absolutely stunning on you. You look beautiful in short hair, especially with that nice salt and pepper accent. Now in this particular photo, uh, Brenda shared with me that this was the most recent picture that she has. So there's a little bit more gray that you can see around the edges and throughout the hair. Now, she also shared that she will be 64 years old this in October. I'm like, what? Girl, you look amazing. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful. Okay, guys, so last but not least, we have Miss Cynthia. Now, Cynthia shared with me that she has been graying for two and a half years. She said that she did a big chop from her beautiful dark brown curls to the beautiful, and I mean beautiful, gray crown that you see before you now. She says that she has never felt more free 
and confident than she does at this time in her life. Guys, absolutely stunning, Cynthia. Your hair is beautiful. Okay, guys, so that's going to do it for this segment of Before the Gray and After. Big, big thank you to Aquafina, Rosalind, Brenda, and Cynthia. Ladies, your transformations are stunning. You are beautiful women, and you wear your gray so well. And guys, thank you for staying all the way to the end to watch these amazing transformations. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, guys, I hope that you enjoyed watching those amazing ladies. They are beautiful. Um, also, I just wanted to say really, really quickly, there will be another upload tomorrow. Yes. And this one will be on um, this natural makeup look that I have been doing here lately. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about that. And so I wanted to go ahead and put together this video so you guys so could guys see. Guys, take care and we'll see you tomorrow.